Good afternoon, and welcome to Berks United Methodist Church's Ash Wednesday service. We're so glad that you've joined us today. Uh, and whether you're watching this at noon or you're watching this this evening, um, welcome to the season of Lent. This, is, um, this service of Ash Wednesday is a time when we confront our own mortality and confess our sin before God with the community of faith. And while we're not doing that in this worship space together, we're doing that with you in your home. Um, if you received a Lenten box this year, then uh, you'll have a little container with ashes in it. Um, and at a later point in the service, you'll have the opportunity to take those ashes and impose them on yourself or on uh, others in your household. And if you don't have an, a Lenten box, then um, you can use some olive oil or some water and participate in that way so that you have the feeling of the ashes um, placed on you and the blessing for this season. Um, we're going to focus on a couple of things. We're going to focus on sin and death and then on the light of God's redeeming love in Jesus Christ. Um, we hope that you'll take a posture of prayer during this time and be prepared for uh, the next 40 days leading up to Holy Week and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is an exciting and a solemn time, and we invite you into this worship space. Let us join together in this greeting. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, and also with you. Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. God's mercy endures forever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, maker of everything and judge of all that you have made, from the dust of the earth you have formed us, and from the dust of death you would raise us up. By the redemptive power of the cross, create in us clean hearts, and put within us a new spirit that we may repent of our sins and lead lives worthy of your calling. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
from Joel chapter 2, verses 1 and 2 and 12 through 17. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is near, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Like blackness spread upon the mountains, a great and powerful army comes. Their like has never been from of old, nor will be again after them in ages to come. Yet now, yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. Who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the aged, gather the children, even infants at the breast, Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her canopy. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord, and do not make your heritage a mockery, a byword among the nations. Why should it be said among the people, where is their God? This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. We want to take some time in this service to talk to you a little bit about some of our practices that we're encouraging you to take on during Lent. One of them is that we are partnering with the Chattanooga Homeless Coalition to bring blessing bags together. You can find the list for that bag in the iBridge and we will publish dates where you can bring those items to the church and we will collect them and take them all together down to the Chattanooga Homeless Coalition. Or, if you wanted to, you could donate directly to that mission on our website. And with that, um, $6, because we're buying in bulk, $6 would buy all of those items for one bag. And so if you aren't able to collect those items, um, you are welcome to donate in that way. And we will make sure that those bags are built and delivered during this season. We're also doing the evening Compline. That will be at 9 p.m. on Facebook Live. That starts on the 18th. So if you're wanting to close your day in a time of of prayer and contemplation, you can join Pastor Rachel on Facebook for that practice throughout the season of Lent. And lastly, we are encouraging you to continue with this practice we're doing through the spring to read the Rekindling the Flame readings as we're reading through the New Testament together as a church and and doing Bible study on Wednesday nights and with our small groups and Sunday school classes as we are reading and taking on this practice, it's an awesome thing to remember that during this 40 days of Lent. So we encourage you, uh, if you haven't already started or you weren't sure that you wanted to do it, now is a great time to jump in and get started in those readings. So we encourage you throughout this season to take up one or all of these practices or something for yourself to remember in this season what it means to be growing in your relationship with Christ and to sacrifice and to give as part of that growth. So we invite you to continue in those readings, to grow in your spirituality and to grow closer to God during this season. How deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure, that he should give his only Son to make a wretch his treasure. How great the pain of 
of searing loss, the Father turns his face away as wounds which mar the chosen one bring many sons to glory. Behold the man upon a cross, my sin upon his shoulders, ashamed I hear my mocking voice call out among the scoffers, it was my sin that held him Please hear the word of God is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 20b through chapter 6, verse 10. We entreat you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, that in him we might become the righteousness of God. As we work together with him, we urge you also not to accept the grace of God in vain, for he says, at an acceptable time I have listened to you, and on a day of salvation I have helped you. See, now is the acceptable time. See, now is the day of salvation. We are putting no obstacle in anyone's way so that no fault may be found with our ministry, but as servants of God, we have commended ourselves in every way through great endurance, in affliction, hardships, uh, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, sleepless nights, hunger, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, holiness of spirit, genuine love, truthful speech, and the power of God with the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and for the left in honor and, and in dishonor, in ill repute and good repute. We are treated as impostors and yet are true, as unknown and yet are well known, as dying and see we are alive, as punished and yet not killed, as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, as poor, yet making many rich, as having nothing, and yet possessing everything. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the early Christians observed with great devotion the days of our Lord's passion and resurrection. And it became the custom of the church that before the Easter celebration, there should be a 40-day season of spiritual preparation. During this season, converts to the faith were prepared for holy baptism. It was also a time when people who had committed serious sins and had separated themselves from the community of faith were reconciled by penitence and forgiveness. 
and restored to participation in the life of the church. In this way, the whole congregation was reminded of the mercy and forgiveness proclaimed in the gospel of Jesus Christ and the need we all have to renew our faith. I invite you, therefore, in the name of the church to observe a holy Lent by self-examination and repentance, by prayer, fasting, and self-denial, and by reading and meditating on God's holy word to make a right beginning of repentance as a mark of our mortal nature, let us now kneel before our Creator and Redeemer. Almighty God, you have created us out of the dust of the earth. Grant that these ashes may be to us a sign of our mortality and penitence, so that we may remember that only by your gracious gift are we given everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. So as we do the imposition of ashes, uh, you can open the little container. And inside you'll find uh, the palm ashes uh, mixed with a little bit of oil. You can take your thumb or forefinger, place it in the ashes and either mark yourself or with your household and say, remember that you are dust and to dust you'll return. Repent and believe the gospel. Remember you are dust and to dust you'll return. Repent and believe the gospel. Amen. Remember that you are dust, to dust you shall return. Repent and believe the gospel. Let us confess our sins before the Lord as we read Psalm 51. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your steadfast love. 
According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you and you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was born into iniquity, and I have been sinful since my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear with joy and gladness. Let the bones which you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all of my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from death, O God, God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice. Were I to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Let us now pray together in silence. May the almighty and merciful God, who desires not the death of a sinner, but that we turn from wickedness and live, accept your repentance, forgive your sins, and restore you by the Holy Spirit to newness of life. Amen. As we close this service today, I remind you that these ashes might just last today, but you are marked for God. God's love is real in this life when our mortal beings are here on earth. And God's love is with us even after we pass from this life. Our time here may be temporary, but it is filled with God's love and work for us to do. So in this season of Lent, do not forget. Do not sit idle. Take up a practice. Do something to remember the sacrifice that God has made for us and that God is worthy of our sacrifice too. Love God, and God's love will be made manifest in you. Amen.